Hi, welcome to another video for simonsvideo.com and my name is Simon Tay and today I'm going to do another clash of clan strategy part 58 and it's the premature towns or rush towns per se. So what do you do if you are a premature town host? Uh, try not to be one. I mean, if you are not yet uh, into the game yet on Clash of Clans, uh, try not to be uh, you know, upgrading your town halls before uh, anyone else because uh, the, the basic rules, uh, I mean the basic strategy is not to upgrade your town hall so quickly to unlock all the high level expos and infernal towers so early into the game uh, but it's to upgrade everything else including your troops, your walls, your, your turrets, your, your, your towers and your spells to maximum first before you upgrade your town hall. The, uh, the town hall is so high levels, you have unlocked everything but uh, you know most of the towers or turrets are very low level and you cannot do anything to it. Uh, basically uh, you are labeling yourself with a kick me at the back and everybody are uh, you know aiming for you to you know attack your base. So what can you do? First option you can actually restart the game which is very costly if you have spent some money on the gems but uh, that is one way you can do uh, so that you can restart uh, afresh you know so that uh, you will not get into that situation. Second way is um, so live with it. <laughs> uh, okay, so what you can do is upgrade your um, builder's heart to uh, maybe get f the fourth builder hearts to the fifth builder hearts. Since you already spent money or you already rush your town hall, uh, more builder's heart to simultaneous simultaneously uh, upgrade the rest of the the top uh, the the turrets and uh, resources will be nice to have. So first priority. Uh, get your builder's heart. Second, be a farmer base. Uh, you know, sacrifice your town hall. You get the twelve hour shield free. You do not need to spend gems on the shield. So, uh, you know, sacrifice town hall. Uh, but the best is upgrade uh, one tower at a, at a time. Do not upgrade those takes a longer time. Uh, so because somebody say, oh, mortar is important. Upgrade the mortar to maximum first. But it takes a long time to upgrade that single mortar. Do not do that. Upgrade those towers that take about. 30 minutes, uh, one hour, uh, or half a day uh, first. Those that are taking the least amount of time, upgrade those first. Fourth is, uh, you know, balance your, uh, your turrets quickly. The longest distance range, longest range towers in the center most of the base uh, and the shortest distance on the out outermost. Uh, but the wizard tower is one thing special. Put it beside the, you know, your resource storages. Another thing is try to uh, use your walls, which you are high level towers, you have huge amount of walls. Try to cover all the elixir uh, collectors and gold mines because those are the ones that will generate income for you other than raiding. Uh, another thing is uh, if you have access to Expo and uh, you know, Infernal Towers, they need to be replenished. Uh, so um, the ammo itself you need to replenish, so uh, be sure you, you come back uh, every time after the 12 hours shoe is up, come back and light the traps, you know, remember to come back and replenish the, the, the ammo. You can try to join a clan as, as soon as possible to get more uh, reinforcement troops and uh, before you go offline try to get maximum full reinforcement before you go offline. This is one way to re uh, reduce the amount of uh, resources being looted by others. Uh, another thing is uh, use traps as much as possible in the intersection of walls so that uh, you, know, you reduce the amount of enemy coming into your base. Yeah, uh, try to uh, use up all your resources before you go offline if you can. Uh, if you have uh, you know, those very low level turrets, try to uh, earn enough gold and then uh, use the, the full amount of gold to uh, you know, uh, upgrade that particular towers and then you go offline. Uh, in that sense, people will be discouraged to attack your base if you have very low amount of resources. One one way you can do is lower your uh, your trophies all the way down, uh, to maybe uh below one thousand, and at that point of time, uh, those people who attack you are mostly town hall uh lower town hall le levels, so um, uh, those people may or may not be able to handle even your level one expo, um, no, but remember to put anti-air and anti-ground at the same time because uh, the expo are deadly against uh, you know dragons if they, they have uh, set to anti-air uh, and of course uh, infernal towers to uh, you know 
defend against uh, the giants or the the heroes if they have at uh, town hall seven. The fun part is if you upgrade all your troops, you still can you know uh, attack higher level players like the town hall eight, town hall nine players. Um, like you you max out to maybe level six uh barbarians and archers and goblins and and giants. Those level six troops are very deadly against. Uh, you know, Town Hall 8 players, Town Hall 9 players um, but with proper strategies, premature Town Hall players are still be able to play the game well basically that's it for this Clash of Clans strategy part 58 and remember to check out on the daily Clash interview with me and the, I'll put the links in the description below uh, so that you can check it out Right, so I really hope you like this video and of course do comment in the comment section below and remember to share this video to people who needs this and of course um you know subscribe. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching Simon's video. Have a nice day. See ya, bye bye. To support for this podcast, please visit simonvideo.com for more podcasts and application reviews. Thank you very much.